Studying distance swimming in the pool is a good way to see how far swimmers are actually travelling. To model this situation, we are going to use linear modelling and study some specific cases. That is, using linear regression models to determine how fast individuals swim. An elite swimmer measures a record-breaking swim, not only by swimming faster, but as a collection of quick lap times. They are interested in splits, which are times for a portion of the event, such as time per lap, the time per two laps, etc. The distance for each lap is constant and does not vary over the race. Thus, distance is the independent variable in this case. So, from a swimmer's point of view, they are interested in a graph showing time per lap. When this graph is drawn, the independent variable, the horizontal axis, is the distance or lap number and the dependent variable, the vertical axis, is the cumulative split time. The graph shows the time taken versus the distance travelled. Typically, speed graphs can be represented with distance versus time. It really depends on what you want to measure. Time is not always the independent variable on the horizontal axis. This graph is constructed by looking at the splits or times for each 50 metres lap of the race. This data displayed was collected from two 1500 metre swimming events by Grant Hackett, a world and Olympic 1500 metre record holder at various times from 2000 to 2011. The regression equation that fits the data for two of Hackett's races shows a remarkably consistent split time for each 50 metres and the model correlation to the data is extremely high. The equation y equals mx plus c shows that the gradient equals 0.6057 in one race and 0.6023 in a later race. Both of the values of the gradient are a measure of seconds per metre, which is not speed. Taking the inverse of the gradient would give the speed in metres per second. For example, 1 divided by 0.6008 equals 1.6606 meters per second, which is about 6 kilometers per hour on average. The smaller the gradient, the faster the average speed. Does this speed seem reasonable? How does it compare to the average walking speed? One final idea to mention is about using the model to make predictions. Interpolation of the data in this context would be valid, but to extrapolate would be unrealistic, as we know humans have their limits. There's no way Grant Hackett or any other human could continue that pace. So going beyond the data is not feasible in this situation. Care needs to be taken when modelling with data, as predicting values beyond the range of the data may not produce accurate results. We need to explore predictions using mathematical models in more detail later.